Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope it's going great. Today we've got another Feature Friday where I show you a handful of videos that I loved that from jugglers that you might not have heard of and I'm just super pumped about it. Lemon's helping. Why don't you go sit over there? So we've got a lot of great videos for you today. I'm really pumped about it. Before I jump into it, I want to take a second and thank everyone who is a member of my Otter Club on Patreon. Thank you so much. You're the reason that I get to make all these free videos for everyone else. Also the reason that I can pay some of my bills. So I appreciate that. I'd also like to thank Marvin Ong for helping me curate some of these videos in today's episode. I really appreciate his help every week. As always, please take a second after this video is done and go show the original videos and creators support because if you don't, they won't be as inclined to make more videos and we want them to make more videos. All right, just jumping right in. We're gonna start, the first one is from Daria Gerbich. I think that's how you say it. All right, go Daria. Starting with a balance right away into three rings, right into four, with a pull off into five, and then the ring between the legs into six, and then completing with a six ring pull down. I personally don't see a lot of ring jugglers, at least posting videos, because rings are just so different. They're hard to practice outside. They end up hurting your soul, I mean hands. And so a lot of people don't juggle them. So it was really refreshing to see Daria rock it up to six rings. I tried six rings once, it didn't work well. One of the things I do love about rings is that you can incorporate your body so much with them, and it was really fun to see Daria give that a go. I really like her account because she's got a lot of tricks that are, I, I think just like around my level, if not a little bit harder. I will constantly look at her videos and like create a list of things I need to work on. And this is no exception. I should practice rings more. Great job, Daria. Go give her some support. Next up, we have a great video from Hunter Way. This is probably one of my favorite videos I've ever seen, ever. You'll see why. <laughs> I just love this video so much. And I love watching it on a loop because it's ridiculous. I mean, first of all, doing the upside down box, very hard. It's a trick that I have yet to get solid. I definitely don't work on it as much as I should, but I do work on it occasionally, and it's just so hard. <laughs> Props to Hunter for just doing that. The like out of nowhere ping pong ball into the cup. <laughs> it's just so good. There have been days where I'm having a really bad day, and I just watch this video just because you can't help but laugh at it. I love that he chose to just be normal at the beginning, and you have no idea that he's got a ping pong ball in his mouth. <laughs> and then just out of nowhere, he's like... <laughs> it is just short enough that it's so fun to watch on a loop. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, he's definitely one of the youngest people I see doing variety type tricks, and they're always a blast. So go check Hunter out. Every week I like to feature somebody who's trying something new or on the more beginner end of the juggling journey. And today we've got Matt Burkhart. I think that's how you say it. I love Matt's Instagram. He's posting a lot of stuff of him trying new things, trying new tricks, pushing himself, and documenting the tricks that he learns along the way, which I'm a big fan of. I wish that I had done that more when I first started juggling, and I encourage you all to do it as well. This video was him trying Flo's Mess after he watched my video doing Flo's Mess. So I commented on this and let him know that he wasn't quite doing it correctly, but I think that the aesthetic that he created is actually really nice. And the most important thing that I like about this video is that he was trying a trick. He saw me do a trick and he decided to give it a try himself. And I highly encourage everyone to do that. And a lot of the time, the tricks that you think are gonna be really hard aren't necessarily as hard as you think. So please, if you ever see me try something on this channel, as long as it's safe, I don't know why I would try something that's not safe then please try it and tag me on Instagram when you do try it so I can see it. I can give you feedback, I can give you support. Great job, Matt. I'm sure you've made progress on getting that a little bit more to look like Flo's Mess, but either way, I'm so proud of you for trying. Next up, we have Luke Forrester. Luke has been doing some amazing stuff with mouth sticks. If you're not familiar with mouth sticks, it's a stick that you put in your mouth makes sense, and you usually balance things on it and do some cool flipping type tricks and things like that. It's an old circus type art. And I've never personally tried it, but I know people who are really good at it, and I know that it's it's hard. So Luke has been working on it in a really unique way. Let's take a look. Like, I just, this video blows me away. He's balancing the glass, which I think is already really hard, and then sliding them down the mouse stick. Like he's doing a cascade with the mouse stick. 
And then here he's doing a weird inside one. I just feel like that's gotta be so hard. Ah, uh, and I love that. As it falls, it's falling over the other glass. I don't know enough about this art to know if this has already been done or if this has been explored a bunch, but I have a feeling that this is a pretty unique and original thing to Luke, and, and I love it. Oh, that downward angle is so pretty. Oh, now he's doing like a shower pattern, essentially. And since I saw this video, he's been posting a ton of explorations with the glass and mouth stick art and it's really, really cool. Please go check them all out. I can't feature them all because we just don't have time, but do yourself a favor and go check out the rest of his Instagram profile. I really want to try it someday. Hopefully I'll get to meet Luke and he can teach me the art of balancing a glass on a stick in your mouth. Next up, we have Elise, AKA the fish as part of the duo Benny and the fish. Their whole Instagram is fantastic. There's so much unique stuff. It was really hard for me to pick which video I wanted to feature, but there was this one in particular that I saw from Elise that I just really wanted to show you. So let's watch it. This trick is so hard and I can't do it. And then just into this really satisfying shoulder balance, that moment, oh, and then that moment, what? It's just so beautiful. And the way she ended it. I'm a big fan of ending with personality. Immediately into a really satisfying, solid balance, and then another one, and then that arm. I don't, just, that thing is beautiful. And then balancing the club and pushing it over your head into the other shoulder. That's like a dream trick. I am not good at balances. I can balance a club. I don't practice them, but I would practice them to learn that trick. It's so pretty. There's a part of me that wants to do a vlog where I just practice that trick, but I have a feeling it, it's a trick that probably takes years and years of work. And I don't think I can learn it in an afternoon. <laughs> I don't even know if I can make progress on it in an afternoon, but maybe I'll try. Please go follow Benny and the fish, AKA Elise. Their Instagram is fantastic. Really beautiful stuff, really creative stuff, a lot of personality, all of the things I love. It's a great channel. We're at the end of our featured videos. This last one I have for you is just fantastic. This one comes from Helena Berry. I think that's how you say her name. I met her at EJC last summer in Europe. She was a competitor in the IRC juggling competition held by the IJA and her act was just beautiful. I actually edited a video for the IJA of that competition. If you wanna go check that out, it should pop out here probably. And it's also in the description, but wait until we watch this video because it's really good. She has a very particular style of juggling. I love how like nonchalant this video is. So she is known for her foot stalls and catches. If you've ever tried to catch a ball on your foot, it's really hard. And she does it in many different ways. She does it where it's the top of the foot, she does it where it's the bottom of the foot, and then she'll like push it up on her body and roll it. And I just love it so much. I, I can barely throw a ball and catch it on my foot, let alone throw a ball from my foot to my other foot and keep going. And this move is just beautiful. She did this in her act and I loved it so much. And then a silly moment, just doing a French press in your video with your foot and a juggling ball. Why not? I love it. I think it's great. Super creative. Ah, oh, so pretty. Oh, I just love the way she uses her hair and her body. It's just, it just feels so unnecessarily hard and it's really satisfying to have, <laughs> so, what? Oh, that's nice. That's just beautiful. Penguins and with the three ball cascade and that foot catch in there. Oh, that's so pretty. That roll is so pretty. Again, I personally find it really hard to catch a ball on your freaking foot, let alone out of a pattern, into a pattern, to another foot. What are you doing? How does, ah, oh, it's so much work and so much precision and so much practice and it's really great, and she deserves a ton of props for it. Great job, Helena. And I love that this video is just in this little tiny courtyard area, making some coffee, juggling. It's something I have to remember a lot that I don't have to like go find the prettiest background in order to make a juggling video. You can just do it in your backyard or in your courtyard or wherever this is. Such a great video. I don't even think I can bend my foot that way. 
Like, I cannot physically put my foot up like this. How does she do that? Practice. I know that that's the answer. The answer is always practice. But like, physically, how do you do that? It would take me years to be able to do half these tricks. And it probably has taken her years. And it's, it's just fantastic. Go show Helena some support. Go subscribe to her YouTube. Make sure you don't miss any more of the great foot juggling stuff. That's all I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to go click on all the links in the description. Show those original creators support on those videos so that we can encourage them to keep making more. And if you follow them, you get all these great jugglers in your feed. It's a win-win for everybody. Go do it. If you, for some reason, haven't subscribed to me already, please do that. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday, so you don't want to miss any of those. And if you want to go the extra mile and support what I do, you can go over to Patreon and become a member of my Otter Club. You get access to some exclusive stuff, which is great, but more importantly, for just that $2 a month, you can help me out a lot. So consider doing that if you haven't already. And for all the people who already are patrons, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks. That's it for today. I'll see you next time. All right, this is a test. I'm gonna see what it looks like. I'm also gonna eat some pasta. Mmm. Gluten-free pasta. Not as good as regular pasta, but 